We are asked to solve the given equation. The first step is to simplify the right side by clearing the parentheses. To clear the parentheses, we distribute two. This gives us the equation x squared plus eight x equals two times 32 is 64 plus two times four x is eight x. Notice how we have an eight x term on both sides of the equation. So if we subtract eight x on both sides as the next step, Notice how we have eight x minus eight x on both sides, which simplifies to zero here and here. And the equation simplifies nicely to x squared equals 64. So because there's no longer an x term, we can actually solve this quadratic equation using the square root property shown here below, where if x squared is equal to c, then x is equal to plus or minus c. So we take the square root of both sides of the equation, but to make sure we get both solutions, we do include a plus or minus on the right side of the equation. So going back to our equation, to solve for x, we undo the squaring by taking the square root of both sides of the equation. We include a plus or minus on the right. The square root of x squared is equal to one factor of x. We have x equals plus or minus the square root of 64, because 64 is equal to eight times eight or eight squared. The square root of 64 is equal to eight. This gives us our solutions of x equals negative eight or x equals positive eight. I do want to make one more comment about this plus or minus here. If we go back to the equation x squared equals 64 and we take the square root of both sides, what's really happening here is that the square root of x squared must be positive and therefore the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x and then on the right side, the square root of 64 is equal to eight. And because we have the absolute value of x equals eight, we know x can equal positive or negative eight, because when we take the absolute value, we will get positive eight. But including the plus or minus here is often explained in textbooks, as we see here below. Either way, make sure we have a plus or minus on the right so that we get both solutions. I also want to make another point about the equation in the form x squared equals 64. Instead of using the square root property, we could have also just set the equation equal to zero and solved by factoring. If we subtract 64 on both sides, we get the equation x squared minus 64 equals zero. And notice x squared minus 64 is a difference of squares, which factors into the quantity x plus eight times the quantity x minus eight. And then this product is equal to zero when x plus eight equals zero or when x minus eight equals zero. Solving for x, we do get x equals negative eight or x equals positive eight. But notice how when we don't have an x term, using the square root property is a very efficient way of solving this type of equation. And now before we go, let's verify these solutions actually work by substituting negative eight and positive eight for x back into the original equation. So let's first check x equals negative eight. Substituting negative eight for x, we have the square of negative eight plus eight times negative eight equals two times the quantity 32 plus four times negative eight. Simplifying, the square of negative eight is 64 plus eight times negative eight is negative 64. On the right, we have two times the quantity 32 plus four times negative eight is negative 32. Continuing to simplify, on the left we're adding opposites. The sum is zero, equals on the right we have two times, here we have opposites, and therefore the sum is also zero. Two times zero is zero, zero equals zero is true, verifying the solution of x equals negative eight. Now let's check x equals positive eight. Substituting positive eight for x, we have the square of eight plus eight times eight equals two times the quantity 32 plus four times eight. Simplifying, eight squared is 64, plus eight times eight is also 64, equals on the right we have two times the quantity 32 plus four times eight is 32. 64 plus 64 is 128, equals two times the quantity 32 plus 32 is 64, and two times 64 is 128. Verifying x equals eight, is also a solution. I hope you found this helpful.